Hey guys, welcome to Family Fun Pack. You have been asking over and over and over and over on every platform for an updated house tour. We're finally gonna do it. Okay, here we are in the entryway and something new here is the floor. We just redid this floor, you might have seen some of the vlogs, but this is a much better entryway floor than we used to have, so that's a little bit different. We also added this nice little bench here. And then the very first room we have is our music room. We have our play buttons on the wall, everything except for our diamond play button is up right now. We do a lot of music in here. We have our lessons in here. And this is like one of my favorite things in the whole house, which is our grand piano. I really like that. We also have some of the only artwork that was not done by our own family right there on the wall. And we have my collection of Disney stuff in this case. Behind me we have family pictures and fun fact, there's no pictures of Owen or actually Chloe either on this entire wall. Owen was walking by and he kept telling me that this was him, all his little baby boys. But they're actually Michael. So I added more pictures to the wall. I just couldn't decide what wall to use. So I ended up using the hallway and putting a whole bunch of pictures of Owen on the wall. So this has almost all Owen on it. And then we have a family picture that includes Owen also. And then of course these are some old pictures. This is one of our other hallways. These are all really old pictures. I should probably update some of them, but I haven't. We have our cozy coops down below and our little ponies. I just can't get rid of these. Like, we don't really play with them that much anymore. They're kind of dusty, but Chloe will like them soon. And these are classics. These come from videos that we did a long time ago, and they're just things you could never get rid of. Here's our powder bathroom. Yes, this is the guest bathroom. We have not much in here, but hello. <laughs> that came from Hawaii. And actually the turtle also came from Hawaii. It's a little stair stepper thingy and it's from the Goodwill, but like we had to get it because it was really cute. So anyway, the other art by the artist I told you guys about. Welcome to my room. Next is Alyssa's room. Alyssa's room, I would say, has a lot of plants in it. It does. There's a lot of fake plants everywhere. I love fake plants. There's a lot of pineapples. Yeah. There's a lot of foxes and donuts. <laughs> That's what you'll find in here. And fox art. Collection up here. <laughs> Yeah, that's her fox collection. She has things set up here because she's working on art. Doing the art tutorial. Group collection. Yes. This is what I finished recently. A little art project. She's always got everything ready to go in here. More fake plants. It's always so cutely decorated for the season. Obviously, it's October right now. I don't know when you guys will see this video, but it's October now. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is Alyssa's room. It's a very, very nice. Here's my bathroom. Here's with the light on. And here's And she has some cool lights. lights. Yeah, they change colors. Yeah. Her bathroom is very cute. Oh, green. Lots of good colors. That's her sink area. That's her shower area. My towel. Her towel area. And here's my closet. Lots of good stuff in here. But it's a little messy. What can we discover? Hmm. Those Lots are all my Halloween costumes. Stuff. My bag, Soccer and stuff, and her stuff. wig, lots of good stuff to discover. You never know what you might find. <laughs> Here's my film studio, starting with my claw machine. Claw machine. Oh, Here's her Michael. Her and her huge poppets. She has some huge cool. poppets. She has a pink ceiling. We just need to show you guys the ceiling here because you can see how the different colors look together. With the ceiling, this room is gorgeous. There's this one of her little shelves. Ukulele. She built this out of scratch with no, like, it wasn't a Lego set. She just built it out of scratch. Yeah. Like, she built this out of scratch. Yes, because she's so artistic. <laughs> I love Legos. Yes. Okay, now here we have something oh, that's for Chloe. Maybe Chloe wants to try it. Here. Can I go on it? She might want to try that. Chloe, that's yours. <gasps> yours. Here, we'll give her a couple years. Hi. <laughs> She's like, I'm not interested at all in this toy. <laughs> anyway, there's our giant um, flip sequin thing that everybody has loved that we got an entire suitcase for when we lived in Hawaii so that we could bring it home. And there's our Alyssa Films, a lot of our videos. There's cute Maui. It's really messy, 
Oh it's so cute because Kona used to always sleep here. He literally does everything Kona does. It's so, so cute. cute. I don't even know how he found this spot. That's He's such adorable. a nice dog. This is Alyssa's closet. Whoa. It's full. We can't judge. Whoa. I put all my stuff in. Whoa. Whoa, Alyssa. Okay, so here's all my bags. Oh my you can't even get in the and closet. But it's all my fancy pillows. I must just put all my fancy pillows. I don't know. I think we have too many fancy pillows. Oh, come on. So we better fancy. just shut the I'll closet. I'll donate them to Chloe one day. Here, hold on. I'll open it one more time. Let's just get one, one last look, look at the, the grandesa of the closet. <laughs> okay, this so yeah. Boring. Chloe is finding things. Oh, she found a toy already. <laughs> Isn't that shield so cool? That shield cost $100, and yeah, I almost didn't thing. get it. But it is so good quality, and we've had it for a long time. We got it when David was a kid. Like, oh, yeah, we've had it for a really long time. Yes, like, and they sell one so now, but it is not good. Like, it is not as good of quality. Oh, yeah, this one's like the OG. Like the yeah, one. we saw one at Disneyland, and we were like, oh, it's lighter weight, and it's slightly smaller. So and we kind of felt happy. Yeah, and more expensive. That's the crazy thing about it. I know. Yeah, so Alyssa likes that. And here's a little close-up of her claw machine that she won, by the way. Alyssa won this claw machine In by video, entering. It was a video editing contest, and yes. I wasn't even good at editing back then. Yes, <laughs> she made a video, and she entered, and she won. Next, we have this area that I designed. I saw something in like an article somewhere, and I was like, I want to make this for my house. Uh-oh. So, I don't think so you can eat that. <laughs> Are you finding every little thing? <laughs> yes. So in here, we have some things that Alyssa used to have, but I know I wanted to save them either for my grandkids or a future little girl, aka Chloe. So we have that kind of stuff. <laughs> that would be and perfect for her, she'll love it. We have like Alyssa's old sleeping bag in here so that someone can grow into it. What else? Another old Alyssa sleeping bag. <laughs> All my stuff. So basically that's what we have in here. And then this is like family fun pack stuff. Like right uh, here, we have these cereal boxes that all have my name that came from General Mills. We have other things that are special to us, like things we've gotten from YouTube, things we've gotten from Legoland, ourselves on packages. Um, here, I'll open this so you guys can see better. There's like the Alyssa doll. And some of these things are things we've done a sponsorship with or like our kids' handprints. This is actually our family that was placed in Legoland in Miniland and they gave us a copy. That's a custom bowling ball someone did for us. Obviously, you know, this Kobe Bryant jersey is special. Um, this is something we did a skit about and I just love the skit, so that's a special thing for us. And then same thing in here. These are things that we've done a sponsorship with. This is like from the Scary Teeth video that is just like so viral, so we kept that little item from that. So we kept this because this is from when we met Kelly Clarkson and did a video with her. So everything in here is kind of special to us. In here we also have Alyssa's tie-dye shoes. She did in a video that everybody loved. Can't get rid of those. And then we have a little more of my Disney collection. Cause I've been collecting for a long time. This is our linen closet. I designed this closet myself and I was so excited to have it because I needed a place to put all of our blankets. Like, we have a ton of blankets. Yeah, like I actually I mean, look, feel kind of like bad. Like a bunch per thing. <laughs> Sometimes if I'm cold at night, I'll just come in here and grab a few. I think I have a problem. One of them is I can't stop buying bags. <laughs> One of them is I can't stop buying towels. So and you have a few problems. Blankets. Yeah, it might be a few, but like, <laughs> it's like they're just always cute. There's a reason that all the blankets are cute for some reason, and I just want to get them. So. Relatable. Next, we have David's room. Yep. So here's my closet, my dresser, which my grandpa actually made this dresser for yes. me. Yes. Why don't you show us your closet? Yep. I have a lot of drawers in here. Yep. I hang up some of my clothes on another side over there. This closet we recently kind of redid. Let's look at the other side. And this is our new dresser. Here's the other, the side, other my side. Some Legos. All my yeah. soccer. He has a lot of soccer jerseys in there. We've kind of redone David's room a little bit lately, so. He has a chair. This is his bed with his new bedding. And his nice rug that I was really, really excited about because it matched so perfectly in his room. And here's the bathroom. And his bathroom that we also remodeled. It looks so nice. We added this whole like tile thing like from midway up down to the ground. And I just love how that looks on the wall. 
Yes, and then he's got this gorgeous shower that I think looks really, really nice. So his bathroom is really good. I think he's pretty happy with it. Yeah. Here's the laundry room. This is gonna be a sneak peek because it is a work in progress. Yeah. We're remodeling it and it's not done yet. This is the family room. Yeah. This is where we all hang out. We have our Halloween decorations. This is like the fireplace. This is Chloe's little area here. And this is the toy room over here. We have yes. this little nook here with the nice wooden yeah. art that my dad made us. And we have greatly reduced what we have in here. It um, is quite a bit more empty than it was. This is something we've had for years. We've owned this since, gosh, Oh man, I don't know, 2015, maybe 20, I don't know, something like that. No, like 2013, I think, actually. Anyway, we've had it for a long time. Maybe could have seen it because it's Owens. And what else do we have in here? We have our books that are organized. We have more books. We have games. And then in here, we used to keep random junk, but now we try to keep games that's supposed to be games, but it looks like people have added balloons. There's the rest of Owen's toy boxes and some more of his stuff. Here's some family fun pack stuff that we've gotten over the years that's special to us. This is something else we've changed in the house. We made this, hello, Hana. This whole little section right there, it used to be carpet, but we made it into tile so that you could walk all the way from there to the kitchen to the front door without getting your dirty feet on the carpet, basically. This is the kitchen area. We recently changed our table out so it would seat 10 people instead of eight because we have a big family, plus we have my parents and extended family, so we have the bench and then the dark bench is like to match the dark bottom chairs. We custom designed the chairs so the seat itself is darker than the rest of the chair. And this is a live edge table, as you can see, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's new. And this is the kitchen. So we have our island with our chairs. We have our fridge. Okay, I don't know how the fridge looks. Let's take a look. Not bad, it's not too messy. And the freezer, that's the freezer. <laughs> that's a hot pocket. Anyway, there's where we do our cooking. We have two dishwashers. This one's dirty right now, this one's clean right now. And I probably mentioned this before, but my favorite feature of my whole house is that we have immediate hot water. So right now the water's hot. I love that. It saves a lot of money actually because you don't have to run the shower before you get in it. It's already hot. Hello, there's the baby. Anyway, over here we have just random stuff. Everybody has a drawer over here. We just keep like random stuff in them. Not food, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's like basically what all this stuff is over here. This is the pantry. We have food in here. We also have food storage, bless you. And all kinds of good stuff. On this side of the island, we have our mini fridge. I use this every single day because I drink a protein shake for breakfast and that's where I keep them. And then we have a couple of Chloe's things over here. Here's one of the dog beds and this is the desk that my dad made me. And we used to keep it right here, but I moved it to here. Next we have the twins bedroom. Yep. We just recently redid their bedroom. So they have their bookshelves over here and they have their brand new bed right there that they're very excited yes. about. Chris sleeps on the bottom bunk. And I sleep on the top bunk. Yes. And whose idea was it for the bunk bed? I think it was mine. Was it yours? One of them just came up and they were like, please, can we get a bunk bed? And I was like, you know what? It was my idea. Not a bad idea. Yeah, and it saves some space in your room too because there's only basically like one bed because they're stacked. So the room feels a lot bigger. They have their open concept closet right there. They have their dresser. They have their piano. And then above we have the loft that we built them. There's a bed up on the loft. So sometimes Michael or David will have a sleepover. Yeah. It is powder coated steel. So it's very strong. Do you want to come up and show them? Yeah. I mean, that thing does not move when they climb up it. We had a different ladder that was here before and we didn't like it. So we're spackling yeah, painting, but like, not done. When we climbed out, it wasn't yeah. a good ladder. 
But there's the loft. They can hang out up there and they can read, sleep. There's a ton of stuffed animals up there as well. And then on their dresser, this is their soccer stuff. They're playing club soccer, so we keep everything up here so it's easy. It's Zach and Chris. Anyway, last look at the twins' room. You guys can see that it looks pretty clean too. Good job, guys. Yeah. Next we have Michael's room. This is another room that we did remodel a little bit. With Michael's room, when we were remodeling everything, he lost his closet. Have we talked about this, Matt? Have we talked about this on our channel? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know if we've told you guys everything we did. We just did a lot of remodeling and reworking of rooms. So anyway, he used to have a closet here. Because he lost that closet, we also made his room bigger by probably like this whole bed section. And then we added this walk-in closet here. So we can take a look at his closet. It's, it kind of looks a little messy. That's Michael's closet. And I keep all of my cool sports cars down. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And there's like, this is probably my favorite one. This one, and I also like this one. They're both Aston Martins. So anyway, this whole part of the room, probably from here and beyond, used to be outside the house. Mm -hmm. So Michael got this bunk bed, and it was actually just a loft bed with a whole play area underneath. But I thought, why not kind of turn it into a bunk bed? So I got like a box spring type thing, whatever that is down there, and a mattress. And turns out this is now the stuffed animal headquarters, and he sleeps down there. At some point, Owen might come in this room and share with him. So we'll have to find a, oops, find a new place for some of these Pokemon. Michael actually had a window added. I figured since we were extending the size of the room, why not add a window? And then this window was here. Like I said, the room was made bigger. So we took this same window and just pushed it out and kept the window that we already had. Michael also has a cute ceiling to his room. I really like it. He's got the blue walls and then the little step up on the ceiling that's blue to match. We made this closet a 45 degree angle so we'd have more floor space. And here's a little look around so you can see there's plenty of storage for all of his treasures and even a little reading spot and a piano place. Next we have Owen's room. This room used to be David's room, and it's a room that I love. I love the color of the walls. I love the wainscoting. This is Michael's old bed that Owen's now using. This is Michael's tent that Owen now has. And like I said, this all was David's room, but David has his other room now. And everything in here is really nice and clean looking. Owen does a great job keeping his room tidy. This is Owen's room when he was a baby, but the dresser was just way too small. So we got him a different dresser, so it's a different color, but. I like this dresser. It's pretty large and holds a lot of stuff. I like two dressers because I like that one style because I make three stories of Legos on it. Yeah, you can make three stories of Legos on it. So yeah, so that's that. I mean, his room's pretty basic. He's got his clothes up there that are Michael's old clothes. So this is um, for him to grow into. And then this is some of his two small stuff that I don't want to part with that I need to save for whatever. And then... This is like, sadly, pull-ups. Owen potty trained so fast. He never wore a pull-up a day in his life, except for at nighttime. And he doesn't wear them at all. And I've got all these pull-ups, so poor Chloe. She's gonna have to wear pull-ups, I guess. Actually, while we're at it, I think I'm just gonna return these to Costco. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to keep them. But the ones that we opened, I'll just keep, obviously, because they're in there. But that is a brand new box. Mm -hmm. That's going back. But anyway, yeah, here's Owen's room. It's very cute. He's got his little music player on the wall there. He loves Groot. He's got the bay window. And this is all of our Legos, pretty much, for, like, the whole family. They're now in his room. He also has the animals. This is one of the oldest videos on our channel, the video of us giving this to Alyssa. She was, how old, like, five or six at the oldest when she got that? And we have all the animals. Oops, there was a Lego guy. And more animals. So they are now passed down to Owen. But every one of the kids has had them in their room. Also, I have these Lego dolls and these Lego sets. You have really good Legos, huh? Yeah. By the way, this is a cute little wooden figurine that my dad made. Next, we have Michael's bathroom. This used to be Alyssa's bathroom. And I love the little things that hold up his shower curtain. My dad also made us that. Here's the twins bathroom. There's two sinks in there and they have their towels with their names that I think are super cute. Here's one of our linen closet areas. This is where I keep 
towels and washcloths. This is where I keep crib sheets. These are all little crib sheets. And I think there's just more towels and stuff down here. And sheets, twin size sheets. We refaced this whole thing. It was like brown and you can tell if you look at the inside, like right here, that it's kind of brown. And that's the original color, but we've made it all white. But this is basically all towels. I told you guys earlier, I have a problem with towels. I'm kind of addicted to them. I love towels. So we have a lot of towels. I think I need to become a towel. <sighs> Next, we have the master bedroom. I'm trying to go as fast as I can because I know this could be like a very long video. So I'm sorry if I just gloss over certain things. But anyway, okay. Obviously, we have our bed. We have our YouTube pillows. I'll talk up. I'll do some details in here. So this is my clock. I'm not happy with this clock, but it's like the only one I can find that was like good enough. I want a projection clock that projects right onto my ceiling so I can see the time at night, but I don't want to put light out into my bedroom. It was very hard to find one. This one has like the shortest cord ever. And then it plugged into like a USB and I was like, are you serious? It didn't even come with a wall outlet. It was so annoying. And so that's like the clock setup. I don't like the clock, but it's like the only one I can find, like I said. So anyway, that's our bed. And then this area right here, this was supposed to be like a chair facing nicely here and a chair facing nicely here that eventually would go over into our reading nook. But my kids love to watch TV in here with us. So both chairs are just facing TV side so that they can watch a show with us. Fun fact, I guess, we like literally never use our TV down the hall. We pretty much exclusively watch shows in here. I like to lay in bed and just fall asleep to the TV. I put it on sleep mode and I just drift off and then they'll sit here and they'll watch the show. I have my little cute stack of weights here. I honestly like pretty much never use them, but the kids like to use them sometimes. So I have some weights there. We have a dog bed. We have this plant that I actually like. I just got into fake plants like a year or two ago. I just discovered them and realized they were great. So yeah, that's that. Anyway, laundry, it's always here. Sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small. This is our dresser. And then here we have Chloe's changing table. So she has her little area here, her diaper pail. And then this is some clothes of hers that's too small that I need to put up and save. This is one of my favorite things in the house next to my piano. I got this in Mexico um, on a cruise actually in Cozumel in 2007. So I wrote on the back when I got it and I just love this mirror. I love the heart shape. I love hearts. And I love stars, but hearts are just, I don't know. I like love, I guess. So anyway, I just love this mirror and it's one of my favorite things. So this is a little other nook in our bedroom. It's kind of interesting because it's like situated underneath this ceiling. I don't know how to explain it. The ceiling kind of steps down. So this little area feels like it's its own space in the room. So at some point it would be a super cute little like sitting corner or reading corner where we could put our little chairs and a cute circle table. but. For now, that's not the case. We have a lot of kids, so we don't have space for fancy places in our house yet. But right now, this is Chloe's area, and she has her regular dresser and her accessories dresser. Now, this dresser has headbands in it. Every single drawer is full of headbands and socks. So more headbands, more headbands, and that's that. I mean, you can never really have enough accessories. So. That's her stuff, and then she has her drawers that have her clothes in them. And that's her spot. This is our little nightstand, and our kids' hand prints. And I think that's basically everything in our room. Over here we have the master bathroom. We have our shower area, we have our double sink, we have the bathtub that we pretty much never use. We have Chloe's bathtub. And then this is like the toilet space. We remodeled this whole thing. It looked nothing like this at all when we got this house. Um, I like that little, what's that called? Wind chimes thing. It doesn't make a sound because it's inside the house, but I think it looks cute there. So we hung it up. And then this vanity of mine, we completely designed. There was nothing here when we bought the house. It was just an open space. So I designed the vanity so that we could have more places to put our junk. Here's one of my drawers over here. It has makeup in it. Something else that I like about this room is that I can finally open and close these blinds. These blinds used to be exclusively closed when we got the house because they were um, the wooden kind like all the rest of our house has. 
and I couldn't reach them because they were a little taller than this with a little lip on the window, so there's no way I could ever reach them to open them. So it's been really nice having the windows be open now that we got these electric ones. Next up, the master closet. We're not gonna get too close of a look in here, just a little glance because I hide things in here. I wrap Christmas presents. You can get a little sneak peek, a little peek. That's Christmas. Anyway, we have Chloe's clothing in here. We have all of my memories, my scrapbooks, and like clothes for Chloe to grow into, gifts that I want to give to people. I keep them in boxes up there. I keep my kids' presents up there for like their next birthday if I have them. Like bags, I have a lot of bags. I like bags in both of those. I have bags all over here. Like I love bags like I told you guys, so there's a lot of them. This is also the laundry section we have Looks like someone put this on the wrong spot. We have the darks, the whites, and the reds. Looks like someone, this looks like the twins, were in a really big rush to put their clothes in the laundry. They did not sort it. The kids are supposed to come in here and sort the laundry. But I love these hampers. They're really nice and big, and they've been a game changer for us because we just couldn't find a good, like, succinct way to keep our laundry nice. So this is great. Now we have these little... Gosh, I can't even talk to you. Whatever these things are called. Valet are rods. Oh yeah, valet rods. We have these in almost all of the closets and things that we're not gonna dry will hang here, or whatever. But these are really convenient. I have one here, I have one over there on my side. And then like I said, we've got one or two in almost every closet. This is our upstairs film studio. Starting off, we've got a closet here on the left. Right now I've got a bassinet in there. I've got a lot of lighting, film stuff. Props, costumes, all kinds of stuff in here. Then we have this little kitchenette here. We've got a fridge that we only turn on when we're using it. Microwave, sink. This is the bathroom area. Then we've got this couch here, which actually pulls out into a bed if you pull it out right there. A bean bag to sit on, and we have a sofa bed ottoman right here, so this pulls out into a bed for one person. Put a TV up here. Have some pretty nice views from up here. You can see the mountains. And looking out here, we've got a balcony. It looks down on the basketball court. One of the cool features about this room is there's LED lights behind all of that trim up there in the whole room. So at night, we can turn them on, and it looks really cool. The last room we have is the ball pit room. This room used to be a formal dining room, but who wants a formal dining room when you can have a ball pit room? So the ball pit's gone through many transformations. We had like this inflatable one, and then we finally got this one that is like industrial size from a gymnastics company. We got larger balls to have better balls because the other ones are just squished. These ones don't squish. They're three inch, they're crush proof. You know? Yeah, they're really nice. And I think everyone really likes this. Everyone who comes here loves to jump in it. And it's a fun place. Well, this is basically our house tour. I feel like I went so fast and I'm sorry, but there's just so much to say. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you guys have questions, let me know. Um, I'm happy Bye. to post more and talk more and whatever. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.